I read as much as I can. I love literature and translation. The best parts of my life are spent in front of books. So I've, seen the, I've got a cheap budget travel to the universe through all these books. And, well, I came to writing through uh, Pablo Neruda's uh, great, surreal, dreamy, sexed up poems. And for a long time, I swore I would be a communist romantic. But I love, I fell in love with the image, with, uh, with Neruda's work. And for a long time, I just thought poems should just be these stacks of surreal images. And then, you know, I got to read poems like by William Stafford that were so quiet, and yet they held the same amount of the universe in them. And so, you know, as I went on, and I got more addicted to narrative poems. Philip Levine is probably my, you know, he's my literary hero in some ways. And I love those middle books of his that incorporate the poetry of place and like all the Spanish uh, language poetry influences and the, the surreal moves and the sort of the, the big, big injections of anger and love you can get into a poem. So I think Levine, among the contemporary poets, is my favorite.